Welcome back to the channel, it's Andy, we're back with FM23 and IFK Jutteberg and today it's a chance for another trophy. We won the league last season and today we have a cup final. We're through to the uh, Svenska Cupen final, we're against Hammerby and if we win, we'll add ourselves another trophy. I've done a bunch of league games off camera, we've been now 10 games into this season so we're a third of the way through. Uh, we've got here to the cup final so let's see if we can win it and win ourselves a trophy. If you're enjoying the videos, as always, drop a like, leave comments, and subscribe if you haven't, or if you're new, turn notifications on, check out the second channel down below, where we'll be starting something new very, very soon. We've just about nearly finished Dead Space, I think there's one more video that will come out of that, and then we'll just start a new series over there. But here in the Cup, we have made it all the way to the final, and we're facing Hammerby today to see if we can get ourselves that trophy. We got past Nushipping and Elfsborg in the quarters and the semi-finals, Hammerby knocking out Malmo and knocking out Sirius. Although it is taking place in the Tele 2 Arena in Stockholm, which is the home stadium of both Hammerby and Your Gardens, they share that stadium. So the final was away from home, which seems a little bit unfair to me, but we'll see if we can get through it. In the last video, we lost to Malmo in the first game of the 2025 season. They beat 2-1. They've got our number and they've beaten us three times in a row now in the league. Hopefully when we get to the reverse fixture, which is going to be in the next video, we can get our win back and get some revenge on them. We beat them to the league last season, but in terms of these individual fixtures, uh, we can't get past them. We did play a grand total of nine matches off camera, though, all in the league, and uh, did really, really well in most of those games, and we didn't actually lose any of them. First up was Sirius, and we took a 1-0 lead uh, midway through the first half, with Kulikov getting the goal. And then we double the lead on 35 minutes. Penaloza with the cross. Olivieri with the looping header beats the goalkeeper, and the lead's doubled, and we win 2-0 against IK Sirius. Then we faced your gardens, Hammerby's city rivals uh, in the same stadium in the Tele 2 Arena, which is where we're playing today. And in this game, we went behind after just 10 minutes. Anderson beating the goalkeeper and your gardens took a 1-0 lead. We equalised in the 52nd minute. Just some really bad play by Lufgren, sent through Kulikov and we were gifted the equaliser. But we went behind again just before that hour with Shamoon beating the goalkeeper. I don't know what Pontus Dahlberg was doing there. Questionable goalkeeping and then went back in front. But then Penaloza with a free kick equalised once again. 74th minute, it was 2-2, and that's how it ended. Up next, we hosted Bromma Poikana and took a 1-0 lead. 36 minutes in, Abdullahi opens his account for the season, assist by Eric Alstrand. The visitors equalised after 62 minutes. Wickstrom with the ball to Arga, and Henry Offia got the equalising goal for Bromma. We did get the winning goal, though, 74 minutes into the game. We won a penalty, and Kulikov stepped up and converted it to uh, put us back in front and win the game for us. Up next, we hosted Nushaping and blew the opponents away here. 10 minutes in, 1 0. Andreka with the header. Keeper doesn't get to it, it's 1 0. The second goal came after less than 18 minutes. Penaloza with the low cross and Andreka diverted it in again to make it 2 0. Andre Kulikov scored the third on 24 minutes. Hausner with the assist. And then after 57 minutes, Andreka completed his hat trick as we thrashed Nushaping by four goals to 0. Next, it was newly promoted Braga, that's not the Portuguese side, and we picked up where we left off. 1-0 after less than 18 minutes, Olivieri set up by Kudikov. And then three goals in as many minutes, 35 minutes gone, Olivieri sets up Andreka, and it's 2-0. Penaloza's free kick then hits the crossbar, Kelly Hansen's the first who reacts, and he gets his first goal of the season to make it 3 and then it is 4-0 in the 39th minute. Penaloza setting up Kulikov. It took a big deflection and goes in for 4-0. Braga actually had a penalty early in the second half, but it was a terrible penalty saved by Pontus Dahlberg. But they did manage to get a goal back after 65 and a half minutes. Uh, Johnson with the ball in there, beats the goalkeeper. They get their goal back. But then we did score a fifth after 76 minutes. Abdullahi beat the keeper as we went 5-1 away from home. Up next, we hosted Usters, and the visitors took a surprise lead after 28 minutes from the set piece, Starker Headland with the goal. We trailed until 36 minutes into the game where Ostrand sent through Andreka, and Andreka just poked it, you know, past the goalkeeper, and we equalised. We led for the first time in the game on the 51st minute. Andreka's through ball, finding Olivieri, and uh, it was over the net. Prokovic couldn't get to it, which is 2-1. And then we scored a third in the 68th minute. Andreka with the set piece and it finds Olivieri at the far post with a good header. And it's a 3-1 end to the game. Up next was an away game against Mialbi and we trailed 1-0 in the 35th minute. Kali Hansen putting the ball in his own net. The own goal puts us 1-0 down. We went in the half time 1-0 down but equalised after 63 minutes. Abdullahi with the powerful close range finish. But David Seguer managed to get us all three points with 10 minutes to go. Beating the keeper at the near post. And then with five minutes to go, Olivieri put the game beyond Miyabi's reach with a goal to make it 3-1. Another three points. 
and in a away game against Hammerby, a penalty in the first half gave us a 1-0 lead. Frederick Nissen's header beating the goalkeeper in the second half to double our lead. Dovin, bad goalkeeper, Frederick Nissen with the goal. We win 2-0 away against Hammerby. Can we do that again today? We'll see. And then in the final game of camera, we hosted Elfsborg. We took a 1-0 lead in the 13th minute through Markovic and a penalty kick. And then we made it 2-0 with about half an hour gone. Andrejka to Hausner and the ball finds uh, Elias Hagen. Keeper's bad once again. Hagen gets his first goal of the season. We win 2-0. Hagen will hopefully have another good season. Nine in all competitions last time around. Had a bit of a struggle with injuries so far this season, but hopefully we can keep him fit now. So, after the loss against Malmö, we actually went the next nine unbeaten and won seven in a row. So, we're on a really good run. Had a tough start with Malmö and Dual Gardens, dropping points in both of those games. But then, since then, we've gone on to win all seven. And, uh, yeah, get games that we're expected to win as well. We're one of the best sides in this league. And we'll be winning the games we need to win. But, you know, Malmö and Dual Gardens are good sides. We're going to struggle against them. So, yeah, I think that's to be expected. So after 10 games, we're a third of the way through the season. We are level on points at the top of the table with Kalmar, of all teams, which is a bit of a surprise. Malmo and Hammerby are just a point further back. Your Garden is an AIK sitting on 20. Kalmar are surprising everyone, and they've been very much a mid-table side and are doing really well so far this year. Um, so the way the next couple of videos are going to go is we've got the cup final today. After that, we're going to face Malmo at home and try and get a win against them. And then after that, when we get to about the end of July, sort of August time, we'll have Champions League qualifying. We'll be back in European football, so we've got that to look forward to as well. Uh, the only other news, there's no transfer news. The transfer window's closed, uh, but Frederick Nissen is the only other player that sort of had a bit of news. He signed a new contract it's it's not ideal i didn't really want to do it but he was under interest from borussia dortmund's that interest has now seemingly gone away which is good uh, i tried to get him on a new contract because i wanted to try and either increase or get rid of a release clause he had uh, as you can see his value at the moment is 700k to 2.4 million pounds his release clause was 1.8 i wanted to try and increase it i probably shouldn't have given him a new deal because he's now on three and a half grand a week he's now a star player uh, which is absolutely busted in FM because if he's a star player and he misses a game uh, that isn't because of an injury, he will have a go. Like he will expect to play every single game, even if he's tired. So it wasn't the best thing to do. Uh, and then the release clause uh, went up to 1.9. <laughs> <So> <laughs> the the agent would not go in, like it was limited by the agent. I could not make it any higher than that. I couldn't get rid of it. So I'm pretty much resigned to losing Frederick Nissen probably in the summer. It's not ideal, but if other teams are going to come in for him, if Dortmund come back in, my hands are essentially tied because they will happily pay £1.9 million pounds for, for a player like this. So I'm I'm pretty much resigned to the fact that he's probably going to go in the summer. There's not a lot else I can do about it, unfortunately. But he's done really, really well, and he will play as often as he can um, a star player, even if I rest him for a cup game. If he doesn't play that, he'll still have a go. That star player is busted on this game. I think that's the only news. Abdullah is injured at the moment, as is Sebastian Alston. Uh, Alston and Carnelli are also not quite fully fit, but no other news. So let's jump into the cup final. So we have Abdullah injured. Olivier is going to play alongside Kulikov. Ziad Larkesh has not had the best of uh, times at left back. He's played a handful of games. He hasn't been bad, but he hasn't been great either. Parkinati has kind of not really found himself in the side, but I think we'll give him the game today. Because he's fully fit and yeah, he he, lo he looks pretty good. He looks raring to go. Carlin and Kusu are giving me a bit of a selection headache at the moment. They're both doing fairly well. I'm going to go with Carlin though just for the experience. And with Elias Hagen back in, he was in good form last season. So I'm going to try and reward him and give him the game in the, in the final here. I'm going to put Andrejka and Peña Loza uh, in those wide areas. And they will be swapping throughout the game. Kulikov and Olivieri up front together. That's fine. I think this is what we will go with. I'm happy with the team. Playing positive. Uh, we have got that line of engagement slightly higher. I might drop it for this one though. Just to mid-block. That's fine. Okay, now we did defeat Hammerby by two goals to nil in a league game. Oliver Dovin was poor in goal for them. Dahlberg has had mistakes for us. He's a player that I'm happy to have in goal at the moment. But once he runs out of contract, I'd probably look to get someone else. But at the same time, he's also homegrown. So... I'd probably try and keep him and then see if we can get someone better that we can, you know, build up to be as good as or better than him, I think. But here we go. The cup final is underway. And uh, Colander has the ball here for Hammerby 
in their own half, and that was almost too easy for them. Daniel Maldini with a free header at the far post gives Hammerby the lead inside five minutes. That is not the start we wanted. From the throw in here, look how many players we had over, and the entire other side of the pitch, there was nobody there. Maldini getting away from the defender, and that's an easy goal for them. Hausner, not good there. And Hammerby looking to come forward again here. Mickelson to Nilsson, and this is not the start that we wanted. Collender again has got some space here. He's still going. The cross, or the, the sliding tackle misses. It's Vajic. And long range strike just wide of the post. Uh, we need to wake up here. We haven't started this game well. Five minutes to go in the first half. Since that goal, there's been nothing in terms of highlights. Penelos is a bit injured. And we're going to go in a half time a goal down. And after that goal, the game just died. Look at this. Nothing happened. It was a disappointed first half. They got that goal, but then nothing else happened after that. Penelosa is hurt. Um, do we stick with him, though? I think he might be okay. He might miss a bit of game time afterwards, but I think he can get through the game. I'm going to push up the pitch, because we need to give the game to them. And so far, it's been a poor first half. We've had the possession. Our passing's good. We just haven't managed to create anything chance-wise. And Maldini's free kick is saved by Dolberg. And yeah, how many have that early goal? We haven't seen much other than that. So we need to get forward and start creating chances. Set pieces headed away by Olivieri. And here's Nilsson. Teki. And giving the ball away there. Kanate to Kulikov. And that's the end of that. Like, we, we need to get forward here. We're not seeing anything. Like, at all. Our strikers... I, I, I don't think I've seen our strikers touch the ball. And that's not good enough. Here comes Nilsson. That's too easy for Maldini. Good save by Dahlberg, though. We are, we're are we disappointing ourselves here. This front four has not done well enough. I need to make some changes. This is not going well in the slightest. Um, but with no Abdullahi, I feel like we need to change the system. So David Sigue is going to come on for Olivieri, play as that uh, attacking midfielder in the middle. Penaloza is hurt, so he's going to come off. We're going to bring on Emma Markovic. Parkinate is not done well today. Andrejka has been poor today, but we're going to go for that. And we're going to go attacking with half an hour to go and try and get back into this game. Nissen with a throw here, 64th minute. It's Markovic. Seger, this could be the chance here. Kulikov, I think he's offside. That seemed too easy, but no, I think it's going to count. Kulikov is equalised, 64 minutes in. He had so much space there like to turn and shoot. I thought he was offside, but he is not. Emma Markovic with the ball to David Seguer. No, he was onside. He was just wide open. The players did not pick up their man. And we've equalised. Can we now maybe go on and win this one? 78 minutes gone. We can look at making some other changes. Midfield is getting very tired. Hagen is going to come off. And uh, Melvin Berg's going to play in midfield. Five minutes to go. It looks like we're going to extra time. Unless there's a replay because we're away from home. I'm not quite sure. Melvin Berg with a free kick here. About three minutes left of the game. Not expecting this to go in. Very rarely now do free kicks actually go in, even though we did score a free kick off camera. It took a big deflection, though. Headed away. It's going to come to Frederick Nissen. And the cross finds Andrejka. And Andrejka scores. Is it going to count? I think it is. 88th minute. We've gone in front. It's 2-1. The free kick didn't really amount to anything from Marcus Berg. It hit the wall. It took a huge deflection. And then Pinas goes to head it into the corner. Nissen's there first. And then Frederick Nissen, great cross to Andrejka at the near post. And he finishes it. Right. Let's uh, shut up shop now. We've got two minutes left. We'll take it off attacking for starters. We'll go back to balanced. We're just going to turn this tempo down. We're going to slow the pace down. We're going to turn off the high press. We're not going to trigger so much. Andrejka is going to come off. We're going to get Manas Kuzu on uh, as defensive midfielder. Get another midfielder in there behind Sagir and Carlin. And we're going to take off Parkanate and bring on Ziad Larkesh. That's five subs. Does leave us one more just in case there's a late twist in the tail here. But we've got five minutes of injury time now to hold on and win this cup. Nissen should hopefully have this under control. He does. Hausner to Seger. Kulikov switches it for Kuzu. Heads it forward, but there's nobody there. Stenmark, long ball. It's Kali Johansson to Nissen. Calm down now, guys. Come on. Markovic to Kulikov. Ooh, the number 23 there was making the run. That was Seguer. Here's Pinas. Still five minutes left of injury time. Carlen takes control of the uh, the ball there. Back with Hausner, Markovic. A third goal would really put this to bed. 
Again, Kuzu heading it forward, but there's no red shirts ahead of him. Oh, and Dovin there has gifted us a goal and thrown it away. Kulikov like capitalizes. Oliver Dovin will have his hand head his hands in his head. Will have his head in his hands after that. Look at this. Denmark back to the goalkeeper. Dovin, no pressure at all. Just gifts it to Kulikov, and he's got to feel sick in the stomach after that. Late corner kick for Hammerby, but surely too late now. Berg wins the ball. There's still three minutes left of injury time, but I feel bad for Hammerby there. A mistake like that, you know, that you're looking to try and equalise and you do that. That's disappointing. And Kuzu puts it in to make it 4-1 uh, and Hammerby's heads have gone. I feel bad for them, honestly. You know, that was a good game leading up to that, but they've, they've lost their heads in the last, say, 10 minutes or so. That's unfortunate. It's 4-1, and Menas Kusu uh, with his first goal for the club, so congratulations to him there. But, yeah, bit of a bitter ending to the game. 96 minutes played, last possible chance for Hammerby to get a goal. It goes wide, and that will surely be game. So there we go, a 4-1 win. It definitely wasn't a 4-1 game. I feel bad for them there. But IFK Jotterberg have won the Svens Svenska Cup and the Swedish Cup. Uh, after winning the league in 2024, 2025, they've won the cup. Uh, hopefully we can go in now and maybe retain the league title and defend it successfully. But there's the Svenska Cup and, and I believe it is Hausner lifting the trophy, the captain. It might, it's not Olsen, he's injured. So Hausner lifting the trophy and there it is. Our second trophy of the save, the cup, is, is ours. We came from behind to win, which is good. It wasn't the best of performances, but... We managed to hold on, we equalised, we got the winner, and then unfortunately Hammerby in the last in the last sort of few minutes um, kind of lost their heads a bit. Um, Oliver Dovin gifting us the third goal, and then by then they were they were they were shocked really. They were shocked, they were rattled. Penalos is going to miss a couple of weeks of action, which is not great, but hopefully we'll be okay. So after just having our hundredth match as manager against Elfsborg, our hundred first match, we win the Svenska Cup and. Uh, win ourselves the cup so great job now we have to focus on defending this league title we're a third of the way through the season 20 games left to go and next episode we're going to take on malmo at home and see if we can beat them we beat them in the first couple of games but they've beaten us four games in a row um, three in 90 minutes so we want to try and get that win because they've got our number at the moment and we want to try and get back on top after that, we should be back in European competition. We've got Champions League qualifying. Um, when does that actually take place? Can we find out? Well, I think we enter at the second qualifying round. And last time that took place on the 24th of July. So I imagine it will be between the Sirius and your Gardens game. So what we'll do, we'll do Malmo next time. And then after that, I imagine we'll do both legs of the Champions League and then see how far we get there. Um, I'm hoping we can get into a group stage in either the Europa League or the Champions League. That would be really good to aim for. If we end up in the Conference League again, I'm sure we know we can get through it and hopefully we get a bit of a better performance in the knockouts as well because I'm disappointed in how we went out last time uh, in the Conference League. We got through the league phase, we had some great results in qualifying and then we came up against Pagani and we, we lost against the Poles, which I didn't expect to happen. So hopefully we can do better in our upcoming season um, but we'll see what happens with a qualify for Europe. But next time, Malmo, we're going to get our win against them. It's long overdue, so we're going to try and end that hoodoo. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave comments, and subscribe if you haven't, or if you're new, turn notifications on, check out the second channel down below. And yes, next time, Malmo. It's about time we, we, we took their scalp, so we're going to do it next time. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.